everyone. Uh, this is the first video in a series looking at um, Dreamcast shoot 'em ups, basically. I think I promised this video um, in some shape or form for quite a while now, um, and I'm finally getting round to doing it. I'm going to have a look at a few games uh, per video, um, and just go through, uh, yeah, go through what I've got. Um, my overriding passion with with shoot 'em ups is the Dreamcast. To be honest. Um, it's the only kind of um, platform I really kind of seriously collect for, um, in, the, in, in the sense that everything's got to be immaculate and complete. Um, I'm I'm pretty kind of easy going with uh, with my other with my other games, just as long as they're not you know ridiculously bad. Um, but with me with me DC shoot 'em collect, shoot 'em up collection, I kind of demand the highest really to be honest. Um, so I'll have a look at the first game I'm going to show you. Um, it's uh, Cyvaria 2. There we go, with Spine Card, of course. Uh, absolutely fantastic game. This is one of my favourite DC shooters, it has to be said. Um, there we go, it plays great. It plays completely different to the to the original. Uh, the, the PS2 conversion of the original, I, I, I hate it. It's shocking, <laughs> to be honest. Um, well, if you pick up a couple of quid, it's it's probably uh, a day's worth of fun in it. But um, the sequel kind of redressed everything that was wrong with the original. Um, the graphics are amazing on it; some of the best on the Dreamcast, I think. Um, just a quick glimpse of the uh, of the, of the manual there. Um, all full colour. Uh, yeah, complete. But uh, yeah, a, a great, great game. Okay, uh, the second game I'm going to show you today is um, Trizeal by Triangle Service. There we go. Uh, took me quite a while to get this one at a decent price. Seems to kind of uh, fluctuate wildly. Um, I think I picked this one up for about 35. Um, Side Barrier 2 I picked up for about 40. Um, as a rule, I generally don't kind of spend over 45 quid on 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 DC shooters um, unless it's something quite special. Uh, again, with spine card. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a fan of this game. I, I know people that absolutely love it and uh, say it's one of the favourite shooters on the uh, on the DC. But I must admit, I'm not a fan, um, and it's probably why I've not actually got shooting love on the 360 yet because it's got tri it was basically Trizeal and um, Exile, the uh, the sequel on there. And the sequel's supposed to be inferior to this and I'm not keen on this. So uh, But the presentation in the manual is 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 quite nice and again it is one of those ones that, that fluctuates um quite a bit. I've seen it size I think it's seventy five pound. Um, and there was a limited edition version of this as well with uh, I seem to remember with a bandana but that that goes for silly money. That nearly goes for uh, Border down limited edition prices sometimes. Um, okay, the third video, uh, that's the third video, the third game I'm going to show you is um, Carus. There we go, uh, Milestone Shooter. Wonderful, wonderful packaging on the uh, on the game. So just it's just ni nicely. Uh, I think it's quite nicely designed. That's uh, that's all really. Um, it, again, I think this was. There we go. I think this was the third Dreamcast uh, shooter I ever bought, and I bought it not long after release. So I managed to pick it up for 35 quid um, from eBay, and I bought it from a from a seller uh, just as at face value as. Um, it was the you know the the standard version of the game, but um, yeah, I opened it up and uh, found the um, there we go, found the Sega Direct card, so the Sega Direct version. So uh, yeah, slightly rarer. It's a nice surprise. It's not the first time that that's happened with buying Dreamcast games. Sometimes you can um, yeah you can you come across. Uh, nice packages um, and not realise it. And the third game I'm going to show you is 
Mars Matrix. There we go. And now this one got an American release, and um, it's fine. It's 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 great. The packaging is quite nice on it, but um, no, the <laughs> the Japanese version absolutely trumps it. It's it's gorgeous. I really really love the presentation on this one. Um, well worth picking up. Um, spine card. Um, it's just really really nicely designed. It's it's full colour. Uh, there we go, there's the first page, there's the ship. Yep, some some more in there. And I, I, to, to be honest, I think this is probably one of the uh, longest lasting uh, Dreamcast shooters you'll ever get. Um, just because of um, all the unlockables in it, it's going to take you absolutely ages to unlock everything. Because basically you earn credits that which can un unlock things in the game. Um, there we go, there's even the old, uh, is it the OB card in there? Well, that's that, that one. We've got the lot in it, absolutely pristine. Uh, believe it or not, I picked this up for £25. I'm talking about quite a while ago now. Um, but I was I was really, really pleased with that, and I'd recommend that to en to anyone. Shadow Man uh, from the Retro Game Forums is after this one for a while, um, and he, he finally managed to get a copy. Um, and um, <laughs> it's, it, is, it is a great game. I've uh, probably got enough time to show you one more. So um, I'll show you one of my UK ones actually. You have to excuse me. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is one of the UK ones. It's a uh, Giga Wing, Giga Wing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, absolutely insane shooter by uh, by Capcom. Um, again, this is this is complete. I bought this um, I bought this years ago actually when the, when the, just as the DC was basically was dying really. I got a three for ten pound offer and from a from a basket in um, in game in Leeds in the old game in Leeds which uh, used to be. Um, the HMV years and years and years ago it shows you how far I'm going back. Um, brand new, um, yeah, three for uh, three for three for a tenner. The other game I got was Shadow Man and Red Dog as well. Uh, but this was this was a, it was a nice little bargain. This one has to be said back in the day. I hate that phrase back in the day, but I'll use it. Um, so yeah, absolutely insane shooter. You can get. Um, Eight or nine figure scores in this. It's 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 ridiculous. Absolutely manic, um, but loads and loads of fun. Has to be said. If you can pick this one up for around about a fiver, um, you're doing really really well. Uh, prices of this uh, game have, uh, have shot up a little bit. Um, the Jap version looks really really nice. And again, I've got this dilemma whether to go back and buy all these Jap game, uh, the English games that I've got and the Japanese version, but. I'll approach that bridge when I get my complete uh, Dreamcast uh, shooter collection. So yeah, that's uh, video number uh, one. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in number two.